I think the landscape in uh, in retinitis pigmentosa is at a very is at a very exciting stage right now because there are a lot of new companies, a lot of new technologies being brought forward to the clinics. So I think it's a very exciting space to be, and uh, I'm very happy that Centen has now an asset, and we are now heavily invested into bringing a therapy for retinitis pigmentosa. Uh, in terms of the landscape, this is a this is area that unfortunately there are not many therapeutic um, options available. The most uh, advanced therapy uh, approved is in gene therapy and has been approved recently, yet it only uh, addresses the, the, the needs for, patient, for one or 2% of the patients suffering from retinitis pigmentosa. Having said that, as, as we know, retinitis pigmentosa is inherited retinal disease that leads to um, degenerative uh, loss of vision over time. So a lot of majority of the patients tend to become legally blind by the age of 40. This is one of the big issues, this massive and mathematical need and the burden of disease. So as I was saying, the, the key uh, therapies under, under investigation currently are either gene therapies or cell therapies. Um, in terms of the still the big one of the big math needs in terms of administration of those therapies. So the majority of the gene therapies are being administered sub, subretinally, while the cell therapies in, in the case of the sentence human retinal progenitor cells is being investigated as an intravitreal injection. We should uh, lessen the burden of the administration because it's much uh, a much more simple procedure. Currently, the main obstacles to bring those therapies to patients is have to do with the heterogeneity of the population of RP patients. So this is an inherited retinal disease with more than 100 genes in terms of the genotype of the disease. Also the clinical presentation is very different from patient to patient, even sometimes patients suffering uh, from the disease inside the same family. This obviously causes a major challenge for any company trying to bring uh, therapy for retinitis pigmentosa because it makes it rather complex to design the clinical trial that will bring uh, those outcomes that are necessary in order to approve uh, a therapy.